Hey everybody, what's going on? So I haven't recorded a video in a while. Um and this is a you know, a new one we're gonna return to building products and building ideas and seeing what works from there. And as we've talked, one of the things I've talked about consistently is to <clears throat> excuse me, um try not to do any code. Um try just to find a process, find a need and then find a process to solve that need and then worry about the technical part later. So start with what the users, the businesses want, and then fill in the technology later. Um, knowing a whole bunch of cool technology is, is great, but if you can't solve any business problems with that, you know, there there's like a mismatch and vice versa. You know how to solve these business problems, but you don't understand the technology. You, you get yourselves in a jam that way too. So we're looking for a good balance of, of both. And I would dare to say more on the business side than, than on the technical side for a lot of apps and projects. Now, again, it's changes if you're working on highly advanced artificial intelligence systems that the technical skills <laughs> that are required are going to be much more higher because your pool of candidates are going to be lower and you know the risk is going to be greater because you're you're probably working in uncharted territory but for the rest of us business first technical side second so the problem that you see there listed is that um, a lot of job agencies just use overseas recruiters who just spam people find people who aren't qualified to put into the pipeline and it creates a mess. The company at the end is not happy. The candidate's not happy. And we're, we're not getting the results that we're looking for. So one of the things that I spoke with the recruiter about was, hey, what if we automated a way to set up these appointments, just a small part of your pipeline, that if we found the way to do the outreach, build the candidate list, oh, let me flip that around, build the candidate list, do the outreach, set up appointments for you with moderate means, you know, would you would you be interested in that? And she kind of hesitated back and forth. Oh, my boss doesn't like that. Well, you know, we have, we don't want other people looking at our jobs or stealing our jobs from us, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, well, you know, I understand that, but what if we didn't put your, the job in any of the initial communication, our initial communication was going to find out, hey, such and such, I see you have these skills. I have a great job opportunity. Would you like to apply? Would you like to speak with me for 10 or 15 minutes? They say yes or they say no, but that's the end of the conversation right there. But remember, this is automated, so you can reach out to four or 500 people right away, and you would know right away who's interested and who's not. Um, and you can also follow that up with email or, or, or phone calls. Like if they don't respond to the text message, you now will send them an email. Or now if they don't respond to the text message or the email, you give them a telephone call. Now those sequences are, are, are further down the line and we're not gonna get into those when we first start. Um, I have the flow right here, what we're gonna kind of do and Maybe I should have dropped the arrow over here, so let me pop that down. We're going to work in this direction to start. Ooh, that's crooked. We're going to work in this direction to start. We're going to scrape online the name, skills, emails, telephone numbers, location. From there, we're going to create a list of people to contact, set up a text messaging system, an email, outreach. Uh, I said that wrong, but we're going to have a, like an outreach to set up appointments. That's just our number one goal. So we're going to do the scraping, which you can see me doing other videos. Then we're going to hit up Google Voice. We're going to text message all those people and get a bunch of yeses or nos. And then from there, if that doesn't work, we're going to have their emails. We're going to fire off some emails to them. And if we don't get that, we're going to get on the phone and talk to these people. So, you know, hit them with the one, two, three. And, and, and see what our results are going to be. Now, if this was in an automated program, we would have to have some sequencing steps based upon behaviors and some decisions to make, but that's not what we're targeting right here. Our target right here is just to scrape, get that name, get that, get those skills, email 
address, telephone number, and a location, create that list, fire off those text messages. We don't hear back from them in 24 to 48. Fire off an email. We don't hear back from them in 24 to 48. Hit them with that phone call. So those three steps, we would like to get that done within a week because these jobs move fast. So even 24 hours may not be good. We may have to do um, 24 to 48 may be too long. We may be doing this text message one text message Monday, Tuesday, email, Wednesday, phone call. We might hit them like that, bam, bam, bam. So for the recruiter standpoint, all they have to do from their standpoint is go in. They got the text message, they can move from there. They got the email, move from there, or just have to pick up the phone. But the initial two points of contact is already done. And again, this may not work. You may have to flip around in some different order. I don't know. We're just exploring it. And if we find success, we know that we have a product that we can build on. So that's what we're going to do. We're, um, I didn't even check to see if there are any products in the market that offer this. I know that recruiting agencies have a bunch of different tools. I'm going to swing my hat at this. I've been messing around with LinkedIn lead generation for a while, helping other people with it. So I'm, I'm just taking the skills that I learned from that, and I'm going to try to apply it to some other different situations that I haven't not seen it being applied to. So stick around and see what we can do with that.